We're live. We're live. Happy Sunday. And I'm not happy about it. I had a new setup and it didn't really work. I don't. I just have to like commit a full day or hire someone to come over here and set this up for us because it's so hard to figure out. Yeah, it's got cords everywhere. I don't know because I see a lot of people, they do live streams where they, um, they have like an external mic. So I don't know if they actually use a video camera or if they use like a, a good webcam. Maybe we just need to get a better webcam because this is from our phone right now. But my, my computer works well, but you can't do YouTube live from, oh, from a computer, right? You can only I do think it you can do it from a computer. I don't know. We got to look into this more. But how's it going guys? We're making fudge brownies today. So when we went to Dr. Berg's conference, someone gave us a tip. You can make the brownies and just freeze them yeah. for like after dinner fat bomb type things. So that's what we're going to do. And we freeze most of our desserts. Like our, the almond flour cookies we made last week, we froze and I eat them right out of the freezer and I think they're even better. These take 50 minutes in the oven now. So we're going to get started right away. Yes. Yeah, because football starts in 48 minutes. Yeah. I can be a little late today though. I'm out of contention for the fantasy playoffs. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 325. That's what you're gonna want to bake these at. And in a, a bowl, like a small, medium-sized bowl, I'm gonna melt down the butter and the baker's chocolate. And the baker's chocolate is what makes it like super like dense and fudgy and chocolatey. But it won't melt on its own. You need some fat to help it melt. Right, because 100% baker's chocolate doesn't really melt in the microwave like normal chocolate. So we're doing 12 tablespoons of butter. So that's one and a half sticks. And then we're doing two ounces of Baker's chocolate. And normally that's just half the bar. One bar is four ounces. Did you have acne issues when you came off birth control? No, but I've never had acne in my life. Like that's not been a thing that's been a part of my childhood. Um, when I got off my birth control, I had really bad headaches as a side effect. Mm -hmm. That's it. And maybe a little weight gain, but like I'm not too worried about that because I feel a lot better off the birth control. Out of contention already? I mean, I have to win my last three games and I need some other magic to happen in the standings for me to barely have a chance. So I'm not totally out of contention, but it's not looking good for sure. Uh, could keto possibly help with inflammation? I currently have costochondritis, which I've never heard of, which is an inflammation of the sternum. I think, I mean, there's a lot of keto foods that are hot, are pro-inflammatory, but you can just do like a low inflammatory keto diet. That's true. Keto is going to be much lower inflammatory than a standard diet, but if you're still eating like a lot of, I don't know, like, like nuts and cheese and stuff, I think that can be pretty high inflammatory. Hello from Michigan. You guys inspire me. When did you guys get married? We didn't yet. We did. It. We were engaged. Okay. Matt, how do you rate the Power Crunch bars? Are Power Crunch the ones that have nine any... bars? Power Crunch. Yeah. Oh. No, they're five. Oh, okay. They're Power Crunch aren't terrible. I've never actually had one. I don't think. No, we split one in Hawaii. Oh, we did. When we were like really drunk, we were like, "It's okay, we're splitting it. It's nine carbs," and it wasn't that good, honestly. Like, I prefer Quest bars. <laughs> Okay, so I am cutting up my butter, and I put my baker's chocolate in here already. I'm just adding it all to a bowl, and then we're going to microwave it in 30-second bursts. A couple people saying there are some sound issues. Can you guys just confirm sounds good or bad? Someone said, go Buckeyes, $2 donation. You have to read it. That's what they said, just go Buckeyes. No, yeah, I they, know. They but, squeaked one out the other day. But they donated, so you have to read it. You wouldn't read it normally, right? No. So Michigan's going to the horseshoe next weekend. Huge game. It's always a huge game, but this one's bigger than, than typical. Have you tried Choco Perfection chocolates? Uh, we have. Um, I don't love it. Like, there's a lot of other better chocolates out there. Uh, it doesn't taste like chocolate to me, to be honest. Okay. Adding the butter. Someone said, uh, been doing keto for 2.5 months. Hair is getting thin and nails are fragile. Looking at collagen supplements, perfect keto, collagen peptides. Um, so your hair shouldn't be getting thin and nails fragile. That's, I don't think any kind of supplement is really going to help 
with that? It's something going on with your diet, I would say. Have you been just in a really severe calorie deficit for the last two and a half months? Putting this in the microwave, 30 second burst. Um, and then regarding the hair and the nails, um, for me, before I was even keto, this was like a long time ago, I was on a medication that thinned out my hair and also was just like bad for my, my nails as well and my skin. I took biotin. And I swore by it, like biotin, it takes a couple of weeks to kick in, like most supplements do like build up in your body. But if you want to try biotin, I would recommend that. It's not like, it's over the counter. It's like not like prescribed. And where's your protein at? That could be another thing. If you're just doing crazy low protein. Um, someone said, why have I gained weight? The microwave's so loud now. Someone said, why have I gained weight on keto? I've been on it for almost a year and did great at first. Now, even though I don't cheat and off all my meds, my weight is creeping back up. So what are your calories at? Are you tracking at all? Because just being in keto doesn't guarantee weight loss. You still have to be in a calorie deficit. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I'm a new subscriber, new to keto. How long have you been on this diet together? You were saying four years, right? Almost, right? Three and a half. At I least. think it's it's like three, a little over three, three and a half, something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Hey guys, no sound issues on my end. I'm also going into my second month, no hair, nail issues. I'm making the Brussels sprout side you guys make all the time for Thanksgiving. Sounds good. Matt is the goat. <laughs> Thank you. No, that maybe it's maybe it's just Matt is a goat. You now, know, the Matt, Matt's a goat, Matt is a llama. Uh, let's see here. Blurry picture, getting a lot of, it looks pretty good to me. Okay, so the butter is completely melted really hot and the chocolate's not gonna be melted. You're just gonna wanna stir it until the chocolate melts down from the hot butter. Do you want to stir that while I get this stuff ready? Yeah. So I am going to do the rest of the ingredients in another bowl. So that's going to be, ooh, excuse me. We're going to do three large eggs. I'm new to keto months. Feel great. Lost 38 pounds. My wife is worried about high cholesterol. Well, we're not doctors, but there is some good resources for cholesterol on keto. I think Dave Felt is probably the best one, cholesterolcode.com. Typically, if you're overweight and sedentary, you're, you people starting keto, typically their cholesterol will go down or like will stay. But if you're really thin and active, those are the type of people who are starting keto, their cholesterol goes up a lot, at least percentage of them. But it's not necessarily a bad thing, in my opinion. But you can do more reading at cholesterolfood.com. And then uh, two of the three eggs, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Someone asked for a $2 donation, does Killer Whey ice cream taste better than Enlightened? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, yes, oh yeah, yeah, Enlightened. I'm thinking so delicious. So Enlightened is really delicious, it's like good, but I like the macros on Killer Whey. The macros are a lot better. I like the consistency on Killer Whey and the macros a lot better. Um, so I added my vanilla, and then I'm gonna add, so the recipe calls for half a cup of a erythritol, but we're gonna do one fourth cup, and then we're gonna, do the rest of it in stevia because we just want to use less erythritol, but you can use half cup if you want. So we're doing one fourth cup or half cup if you're doing that erythritol. Wait, is the sound okay again or is it still really bad? People are saying sound is really bad. I don't know it's fine on Facebook. Facebook's always fine. Sound is crackling on and off. I don't know why that would be happening. We should it's better now? We should okay, use it's my good now. Moving forward. Wait, what's that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, $2 donation, holidaystreakers.com. Join our team. Yeah, so that's a, the holiday streakers thing. It's like a 45 day thing where you work out in consecutive days during the holidays because most people during the holidays aren't really working out as much. We do that though. When Matt shouts, he sets audio on. Oh, is that what it is? Dang it, weird sound. This is, okay, let's do my phone. Maybe, no. maybe this. Maybe I'll turn this off. I'll just get rid of this. Keep going. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of erythritol. I mean, sorry, half a teaspoon of liquid stevia for the rest of the sweetener. 
But if you don't have stevia, you can just do erythritol all the way. That's totally fine. And then I'm just going to give that a quick whisk before we add the dry ingredients. So again, we're making the fudge brownies. And in this bowl, I have three eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, um, and my sweetener. A lot of people saying the audio is bad. Okay, let's grab my phone. Some people saying it sounds better, way better now. It's hard to get, okay. It, Should we try my phone? Better now, still crackling. Or then we have to Some read. people are saying it's good. Okay, a lot of people seem to be saying it's good now. It's on and off. It's in and out. Matt, okay. same character. What does that mean? Okay, should we switch to your phone? Yeah. Can you just like somehow, yeah, go to live? Maybe we can live. If I like stop and then you start, I think maybe you can take no, over the stream. No, it's a channel. Okay. Sometimes I wonder, like, did I actually get engaged to an engineer? You know? Just kidding. I love him. Some people are saying it's better. Someone said punking, like they're punking us. Okay, um, let's just go with it for a little. I think it's better now. Sorry, guys. Very unfortunate. Stir the chocolate, Matt. <laughs> okay. And yeah, everyone on Facebook isn't going to have si sound issues. Um, so I've mixed the wet ingredients, as I said, plus the sweetener. And now I'm just going to add the, the dry ingredients. So that is a quarter cup of cocoa powder and then two tablespoons of coconut flour. And someone asked um, on Facebook, can you sub almond flour? So we haven't tried something. You could though. Flour. It'd probably even be better. Yeah, but you probably could. How Should many, we try? How much, how much coconut flour? Two tablespoons. Okay. So it will then be like about eight tablespoons almond flour. Should we try that for fun or no? Should we just go with this? We can try it if you want. Sure. Should, we, should we get risky guys? Yeah, let's get risky. Two tablespoons almond flour. But for you who are doing I mean, it with coconut eight. flour, do it with coconut flour. It's going to turn out amazing. We're going to like to have a little fun try almond flour. Uh, someone said they're kind of concerned with all the new sweeteners, Boca Sweet and Sola. Sola touts zero glycemic response, but has maltitol. We would so say, they are then lying to you. Because yeah. There's obviously a glycemic response from maltitol. Uh, let me look at Boca Sweet, though. I haven't heard of that, I don't think. So I'm adding eight tablespoons. We're just, we're just playing a guessing game here of almond flour. And then we'll do one-fourth cup of cocoa powder. So Boca Sweet is, what is it? Oh, it's Kaboka Extract. Whoa, so this is, yeah, this is a totally new sweetener. This looks interesting. I've never heard of this, never tried it. We could try it and test it for sure. And we're doing. That's something that needs to be tested before I'd be comfortable using it. And then we're going to do one fourth cup baker, uh, cocoa powder, which is 20 grams. $2 donation. Shout out to my lovely wife, Lady, L-E-I-D-Y. That's a cool name. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then some salt. Do you have a fiber internet connection? Yeah, we actually do. Have you guys seen the study that came back about calorie burning being best on a low carb diet? I think it was a Harvard study. I read through that briefly. I need to go back and reread it. Um, because, you know, there's been hundreds of studies prior to that one that did not show an advantage, a calorie advantage to a keto diet. So I've whisked it and this is what it looks like. And before we add the baker's chocolate. Did you do coconut flour? No, we did almond flour. Oh, okay. Where's attention. your head at? Hey, where's your head at? <laughs> okay. I paid $20 for a small bag and ended up throwing it out. Of the Boca Sweet? I think so. 
Matt, where I buy that awesome t-shirt? I don't know. Someone, it's Keto Logic. They sent this to us. Yeah, okay. we don't uh, buy shirts like this. We wear free ones. Oh, someone said the almond flour makes it super dense and not as fluffy. That doesn't sound terrible, though. So someone's tried it. Matt, if you all are streaming from your phone, it almost sounds like high resource usage, screwing with the encoding. Oh. Maybe I can close a few things. Someone said they switched from YouTube to Facebook, so you guys can definitely do that too if you want. Um, when drinking diet energy drinks, will it keep me out of ketosis? So no, you're not gonna have real issues. Um, I would definitely just look at the ingredients, like what is the sweetener? Usually it's super low. Some have um, ACE-K, acylfame potassium. Um, we're comfortable drinking sucralose. Um, uh, and then like monsters sweetened with erythritol, so that'll be fine too. Are you gonna do a histamine video? Yeah, we're gonna record that soon. We all, we were gonna record it last week, just didn't get a chance. So Matt, is this Matt Melton? Yeah. Can you pour it in for me, baby? Someone just donated twenty dollars. S Latrell. Is that Latrell Sprewell? Oh my God! Is that someone? What? Just kidding. <laughs> I used to love Latrell Sprewell. Okay. Now we're just pouring the. So this is the denseness you're looking for, but now we're going to pour in the baker's chocolate. Let's add that. There. Okay, so this is all melty. Can you guys see? It's coming in. And I have long guns on. Oh, Whoa, ESPN update. Now we're just going to whisk that. A lot of people switched from Facebook. Someone said enhancers, yes or no? I don't know enhancers? what that means. Um, what would enhancers be? Zevia is surprisingly good. Latrell Sprewell choked the coach. Yeah, Larry Brown. That was great. Not that I'm pro choking, but I mean, things get heated in the locker room sometimes. I got in a fight in college with my teammate before. Did you choke him out? No, he was like a 6'10 power forward. It was more of just like required standing my ground. I obviously wasn't going to win the fight. It's just something you had to do, you know? All right. So we have, this is looking dense and perfect. It's, it's It looks exactly like a fudge, um, not a fudge, a brownie batter would. So I'm excited to try these with almond flour. Facebook. Simple question, $5 donation from Richard Slater. What store-bought, non-soybean, non-canola, and affordable salad dressing do you use? See, if you're all those modifiers, I would say Make your own homemade. homemade is going to be the best. Get like some apple cider vinegar, get some olive oil, and just like some seasonings and put it in a jar that you can shake before every time you, you dress it is going to be best. Mm -hmm. But like, honestly, the, the only- I haven't seen any affordable There's ones no affordable ones that, that are... don't have canola or soybean. Okay, so I have a, right here, I have a nine by five. So we have a couple different sizes. You can do eight by four, the standard loaf pan. You can do like a big brownie eight by eight, but those are gonna be thinner brownies, but we like a little denseness. So I'm gonna grease this with some coconut oil spray. Oh, PJ Carlissimo is who he chokes. Who got in a fight with Larry Brown then? I thought someone did. Once that's coated, I'm just going to pour this batter right in. And again, the oven's preheated to 325. Update. Bought three bags of Boca Sweet and had fart a fartage from hell. <laughs> My seven-year-old son has had improvements on gluten-free keto. He has autism. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Here goes the batter into the pan. You a nerd. <laughs> that's a good callback. Was that in a video one time? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Primal kitchen dressing, $6 a bottle. Yeah, see, in my opinion, is that affordable? Not really, right? And some places, it depends on where you buy it. It could be like $8.99 I've paid for it. You guys doing any experiments on your diet in the near future, 30 days? Um, the only thing I've been, I'm always doing some form of experimentation. I've just been doing a low histamine diet for the past, I'd say like maybe three weeks now. And it's really helped with my sinuses. It's been like life changing. Okay, brownie batter is in the pan. I'm just gonna spread it out and then pop it in the oven. This is a bigger brownie pan. Yeah, so I said we're. Be a step. Yeah, we're using a nine by five, but again, anything will really work. Oh, people asking if keto crates worth it? 
If you're going to invest in one of those boxes, I'd say keto crates, the one to get. Or the keto box. I've never, we've never gotten that. We've never, yeah, they never offered to send it. So we've like never just had it, but um, try it. It looks like the best one. Okay. From the ones we've gotten though, I would say keto crate. Um, I think it's 40 bucks a month and you get a, some good stuff in there. Like a lot of diverse array of stuff. Worth it way more. There's an on it box now. I'd say that one's pretty bad because they just jam it full of on it supplements, which is dumb. Alexandra Gallo, ten dollar donation. Thank you. Um, has your hunger been out of whack since you've been bulking? No, the only time that was really out of whack is at the end of our cut, I would say, when we got down to a lot lower body fat percentage. And I think that's just typical. Like when you're really low body fat, your hunger, you just need to eat. It's hard not to eat a lot. Go Warriors. Woo. I haven't been keeping tabs too much on the NBA this year. Please share your diet, Matt. I'm also suffering. Um, so low histamines, you can look up a list of low histamine foods, or you can actually look up a list of high histamine foods and avoid those. So for a long time, I was having sardines and cheese every day for lunch, just like a quick grab and go lunch. And that is when my sinuses just went nuts. I even got, I would call it like a sinus infection for a few days. And when I cut it all out, I started breathing way better at night through my nose. And it's just, I haven't gone back to the high histamine food since. And honestly, when you cut everything out, I was like, you're so dumb. This is so stupid. But it's honestly, it's changed the way he breathes and his like inflammation. I feel like in his face, like his eyes aren't irritating. Well, I had really big eye bags for a while too. They were like bluish because of the sinuses just like filling up. And then apparently like right here is another area where you have sinuses and like yeah. that can get oxygenated blood. I don't know. I was doing some research on it. 1.5 blood ketone level too high. No, sounds about right to me. Do you hear the music? Yeah, I do. It's almost like playing a trombone outside. Bro. Unless Miley hit a key on my computer <laughs> downstairs. Miley is all about like just typing things on keyboards if possible. Do you post recipes on Instagram? We post pictures and then there's a link to our food blog. Food blog has all the recipes. So you just want to browse our food blog. Oh, people are talking about water enhancers. Mio. Yeah, those are totally fine. I would just like gauge. Look at the sweetener. Yeah, look at the sweetener, but also like, are you able to drink water without the enhancer? For a while I wasn't. Matt was only drinking water enhanced water. Um, Matt's favorite way to make coffee, he mentioned it a few times prior to getting off of. Just pour over? Oh, yeah. He likes to pour over, and then what do you blend it with? What do I put in it? Yeah, like what's your favorite coffee? Oh, like ghee, um, MCT oil, some stevia. And blended. Shake uh, it, not screw. Lexi BB donates $10. Keep up the good work. Miley's practicing her blog. <laughs> yeah, she's always practicing. She loves just like sitting on laptops or on phones, so it always looks like she's just writing blog posts in her free time. Yeah. Would Matt consider getting a spray tan? I mean, just yes. for like walking around, no. But yeah, I got one at the end of when we did the cut. 90 days. Who's playing today? You mentioned the game is going to be on soon. Just oh, football in general. And a full, it's going to be on at one. Go blue, Buckeyes going down. Matt, have you experimented with Fenibut yet? Or Fenibut or any other new nootropics? I've experimented with almost all nootropics. I've experienced with Fenibut and had terrible reactions. So. so I actually do like taking it. Um, we have it right here. Yeah, for me it was... Fenibut. Um, so this is like definitely don't just take this stuff willy-nilly. Do some research on it. But it... So apparently it works on the same receptors as alcohol. So sometimes what I do when I know maybe we're just going to have like a drink or two and chill, I'll take this. And then you are like drunker without having to drink as much. And you just feel like less, less like anxiety, self-consciousness. And less hungover, right? Because you're not drinking. That too. Yeah. But, but one me, time I like overdosed mega and she slept for 12 hours. I no, I slept for like 24 hours. Um, but like, I was just so hungover. Like, I could not, I was like drunk, right? Yeah. Just like in the morning when I woke up, it felt like it was so bad. So definitely like do research and don't like do too much of first time. 
Uh, any opinion on taking ACV every day? I think it's pretty dumb, honestly. Uh, maybe it helps a little bit with digestion if you take it before a meal, but there's things that help with digestion a lot more than apple cider vinegar. With so many foods that you all make and recipes you try, how are you able to keep losing weight or maintain it? Um, that's actually a good question. So we don't like eat every single thing, um, all of the food we make, right? So we'll try everything. And that's totally fittable and like allowable in our macros. Um, but like last weekend we made the chocolate chip cookies we and then froze we froze them. them and we ate some yesterday. Yeah, and then we eat like relatively healthy, um, pretty much really healthy and clean during the week and we work out and then on the weekends is when we'll like eat things we made during the week that we saved or froze like desserts keto friendly protein bar there's these iq bars they're not protein bars though yeah well there's oh there's only six kinds of protein yeah um there's these stoka bars whoa those are pretty good there's keto bars not really protein bars either those are good these uh, are all you have to buy online these are all online quest bars are what we would buy in stores yeah um, love you guys. Haven't found your holiday recipes from last year. We're going to have a post on them soon. We're going to have a post with everything from the last two years, actually. Last year, we have a sweet potato casserole that is amazing. It uses pumpkin puree and cauliflower mash. Um, we have desserts. And we have a recipe that came out today, actually. Pumpkin crisp. That's, like, my favorite. You should definitely make that. Um, if I use all walnut flour, is it equal to almond flour? Um, walnut flour? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I would say probably not because walnuts are a little bit higher fat than almonds. Just, I don't know though. I've never used walnut flour. We've, we've made walnut spice cookies. Oh, yeah. But probably I, similar. But I feel like you would probably, I don't know. I feel like walnut flour is not going to absorb very much because it's mostly fat. Cookies and cream brotes are the bomb. <laughs> brotes. Did you make up brotes or did you? Yeah, I made that up. Uh, what time is your last meal every evening? Probably like 6.30. 6.30 is when I'm done eating. Yeah. I'm a chef and watch you guys religiously. You have so many great ideas. Thank See, you. I'm always conscious that chefs are just no going to be better. Like, you guys are, what are you doing? Yeah. That's not how you do that. <laughs> Freezing meat, does it have any negative effect on nutrients? Uh, no, I don't think it does. The only thing is, the only thing I worry about with the meats is like the histamine buildup. because now I'm very focused on that. Um, the longer it is from fresh meat to consumption, the higher the histamines build up. Mm. But as far as the nutrients go, I think cooking has more effect on nutrients than freezing. I'm negative, yeah. Also, if I didn't mention, the brownies go in the oven for 50 minutes, so this is going to be a while. Hello from the Bay Area, I think you meant to say. What about no cow bars? So actually, um, the no cow bars use IMO and milk as well. They use no, one of them. IMO. Just IMO. Um, so I would stay away from the no cow bars, but the no cow cookies use good ingredients. So you can do the cookies. When you eat out at a restaurant, how do you place your order to someone who doesn't know keto? Well, they know foods, right? Most waiters, they don't have to know keto. So just tell them what you want. Like, I'll typically, I'll typically try picking something that's already pretty much keto to begin with. Maybe you have to substitute the side. Just be like, what are the, the vegetables you guys have today? Mm -hmm. uh, bunless burgers. You can omelets. always say low carb, too. Yeah. People know low carb. Um, Quest bars are so good. Yes, they are. Can't wait for y'all's new book to come out. Will it be on time to get for Christmas? I wish. I think it's going to be out in spring next year. So. Insect flowers? I've been wanting to try them. They're just so expensive. Like a, the cricket flower is like the most commonly used one. I think it's like 30 bucks for four ounces or something. So it's a lot. Do brownies um, need to be refrigerated or can I just put them in a container? That's a thing with almost all keto baked stuff. You got to refrigerate it. Yeah. Um, winter is already here in Calgary. Do you guys supplement with vitamin D during winter time? We actually supplement with it pretty much all year round, um, along with getting the sun when possible. But yeah, we supplement with vitamin D. Should I? I'll grab it because the it's a good what brand. Vitamin D supplementation. Yeah. During the winter. Um, Morpheus Jones donates $5. FYI, for some reason, Sula stands by zero glycemic response. 
I don't know. They might maybe something weird is going on where it is actually zero glycemic. You'd have to test it though. So this is the vitamin D three K two supplement we use. It's live, live wise, natural. Um, yeah, and we we supplement it. It's a dropper. Can keto adaption cause insomnia or jittery feeling? I think uh, it can cause some sleep issues for sure. Yeah. With most people starting. A lot starting, of energy. Yeah. I've noticed that some of your product reviews, you don't mention calories. Why? Um, I mean, you can always look up the macros for the product. We just taste them and we look at the ingredients. The ingredients is the most important thing because you can fit whatever you want into your macros, right? So whether it's 200 calories or 50 calories, if the ingredients are good um, and it tastes good, you know, then it's up to you. Uh, are you guys obsessed with food? Yes. I'd say, yeah. Aren't the majority of Americans? What are your thoughts on Dr. Rhonda Patrick? She, I, she seems pretty knowledgeable. Yeah. She, she she's on the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah, but there's like uh, certain things that she's um, just like believes in hardcore that I don't know that I necessarily do. Like she's really into broccoli sprouts for some reason uh, and sauna. Are two her two big things she constantly talk about talks about, which I'm sure there is benefits. There's like a lot of proven benefits to both, but I don't know. Were human beings ever like just eating broccoli sprouts every day? Probably not. Yeah, but we're not human beings the way we were ten thousand years ago. You know, we've definitely changed and evolved. But that being said, she definitely is has a lot of good knowledge, and she's highly regarded. Can you recommend someone to speak to diabetes and keto? Well, we have a good podcast with Dr. Sarah Hallberg. She's like one of the leading experts on it. And then Jake Kushner does type, type one, one, type yeah. one diabetes. Good podcast with both of them. Best alternative for potatoes, keto French fries. I think the best is pick them up, but yeah. it's not really the same. It's not close to French you fries. You can do zucchini. French fries aren't really easy to replicate. They're just so dang delicious. Uh, uh, uh. How many rooms does your house have? I don't know. Be bedrooms? Well, there's like a bunch of rooms in the basement that we don't really go into. Yet. Yet. We're not using everything to its full capacity. What do you think about the recently published results of a government study that said the vitamin D and fish oil do not help? I did not read that study or see it. That, the, that vitamin D and, and fish, oil fish oil does, does not help. help. Yeah. Uh, there's a study that says vitamin D doesn't help. 90% of Americans are vitamin D deficient. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that that study exists, but I'll look at it if you, you link it or something. Yeah. Keto friendly pancake syrup from Walmart. I know they, they must have Walden Farms zero calorie syrup. So we have that at home. So if we want to use one, we will uh, use some. We will. Those, that's your best, probably. When was the last time you had French fries? Man. Now that you put I never on. really like even if I had the option to get fries with my burger, like I never did. I always still got like a salad or like veggies. I can't remember the last time actually. I remember getting uh tater tot nachos. That's oh, like the last in time. San Francisco. My my friend, she was obsessed with tater tot nachos, which is the weirdest thing. Tachos, right? Tachos, yeah, yeah. And she would like order three or four rounds when we'd go out. Um, but those aren't that good. I'm your biggest fan in Saudi Arabia. My wife, love you guys. Can you shout her out? Her name is Elaf. Hi, Elaf. Hi, Elaf. How's it going? So do you stick to just meat and veggies during the week? No, not at all. Um, I have some snacks yeah. after dinner, typically. I definitely have some chocolate. Um, but no, not just meat and veggies. I'm pretty good about just having a solid lunch of just meat and maybe eggs, sometimes an avocado. Yeah. And then for dinner, I'll have meat, veggies, and, then a, and snack a snack or two afterwards, which is typically like dark chocolate. Um, I've been having these bars. Let me grab these. I like these a lot, actually. I'm always just like here. experimenting, buying snacks. These ones are called Boo Fit. This is the flavor I like the best. This one is six nut carbs. It's white chocolate macadamia cookie dough. And I don't like it though. The macros are pretty good and it has to be refrigerated, which- Is it better refrigerated? Yeah, it holds up a little better. 
Um, the ingredients are really good, and it's what are the macros? It's 230 calories, 18 fat, 11 protein, 12 total carb, nine fiber. So Wait, three. this is this is six net carb stuff. But they like put a new label over top of it. You yeah. see that's not even, I don't know what's going on with this. It says six net cards on the box. Um, do you guys know anything about keto being anti-gout or can you recommend anyone who talks about it? I know that Amy Berger has a blog to it nutrition and on that blog I read an article about gout and keto. Um, I would definitely give that a look. I, I don't know much about it. Um, but when we did speak to her, she said that starting a keto diet, you can initially have like a flare up, but then it'll subside and get better. What are your opinions regarding Dr. Eric Berg? I like him. He's a nice guy. Makes good videos. He's great. Good videos. Yeah. I watch a lot of his videos. Someone linked the study. Oh, Open click it. it. Yeah. Love your snack drawer. My mom has a snack filing cabinet. Oh man, my mom's turning a room in their house into healthy snacks. She's not a very healthy eater generally, but she has all kinds of healthy snacks. So Vitamin cool. D and fish oil supplements mostly disappoint in long awaited research results. Okay, and we're reading an article. Matt's just not like saying this. Do you want me to read it while you answer questions? Sure. Someone says, can you guys explain net carbs? What would I be adding, subtracting as far as sugar, alcohols, and fiber? Um, so if you're looking at a label, I mean, or even just like veggies and stuff, there's the fiber will be listed separately. So if you're in America, otherwise most other countries, if not all of them, already subtract everything. So the carb number is net carbs. But in America, you get the total carbs. And then under that, it will say fiber. So you subtract fiber. And then if there are sugar alcohols, it usually lists it. So it'll say sugar alcohols and always look at the label and see what sugar alcohols it's using. If it's erythritol, then you can subtract that. That's totally fine. And that'll give you your net carb number. But if it's like maltitol, we would say you don't subtract that because um, it does have an impact on your blood. Um, so you're not going to want to subtract that altogether. It's about like half at least, I would say, um, that you have to count in as carbs but that'll be your net carb. So it's total carbs minus net fiber minus uh, sugar alcohols, uh, also just erythritol. What do you think about keto cats cheating on Thanksgiving day? Keto cat, like just keto people? I think people? just keto people, but I like using cats instead of people. I do that a lot too. Um, if, that's a, if that's a choice you're making, that's totally fine. I wouldn't treat it as a cheat then. Like it's a decision you're making to go off your normal lifestyle, your normal eating plan for a day, for a meal, um, and just, I, I would enjoy it. I wouldn't put too much stock in it or too much weight in it. You might have some weight gain the next morning. I wouldn't even weigh myself. I would just get back to the grind, get back to keto eating. Um, if you do go over on carbs, maybe utilize those carbs and go, up, go have a workout the next day. That's probably what I would do. Um, you'd have a better workout even. But I don't think it's that big of a deal if you want to go off plan for a day. Especially, you know, if it's something you enjoy, you do once every once in a while, and it makes it sustainable for you. Sustainability on the diet's crucial. Um, and if going off plan once in a while makes that possible, totally cool. Okay, so looking at this study here, I'm more interested in the vitamin D one than the fish oil one, just because fish oil is kind of typically low quality. So it's saying, the conclusion is that it did not... Um, so there's 25,000 participants. It's a double-blind placebo study, 2,000 IU per day. So that's kind of on the low end, I would say. Um, and it's people aged 50 to 55 years to start the trial. So... And it seems like the endpoints they're looking for, which is cancer mm -hmm. and cardiovascular events. And the results with both groups were pretty much the same. No lower incidence of cancer or cardiovascular events. Than placebo? Than placebo group. So that's definitely a data point to keep in mind for sure then. That seems like a real solid study. The only thing is it's 50 year olds. That's what I was about to say. So like you at that age, you could already have like a lot of whatever the risk is or whatever is going to 
a crew, right, to cause the cancer. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know if they were like pre-screened for vitamin D levels or deficiencies. not. Deficiencies. But yeah, it's definitely interesting. Thanks for sharing that also. I would still continue to supplement though. Like that's not going to like negate me from supplementing. Um, well, another thing is if you're just supplementing vitamin D, uh, that's one thing. But if you're actually increasing the nutrients in your diet holistically, that's probably a completely different thing. Because if you're getting vitamin D and an increase in vitamin A, those things work like harmoniously in your body. So that can make a big difference too. As far as just like, you know, one variable, like adding a bunch of vitamin D, maybe that doesn't do as much. Confused on protein. It's good for you, but how much is too much? I target 180 gram, one gram per pound of lean body mass. Yeah, so that's crazy high protein. You have a lot of lean body mass. 180 gram. Oh, 180 okay. Pounds. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's really high. Uh, but if you're finding good results, you feel good, then stick with it. But like point, point 0.6 to point 0.8 grams per pound of lean body mass, I think is probably a better mark. But if you work out a lot, maybe that's good. Uh, not dying isn't the only reason to take vitamins. Yeah, but it's a good indicator. It's like, it's like a good thing to monitor, right? Because if you're, there's other things going on that are suboptimal, usually that leads to dying sooner, right? If someone is low carb instead of keto, should they still eat high fat? Is the body only using fat for fuel when in ketosis or is still using fat for fuel when just low carb? I would say um, you don't have to, like if you're just low carb, I wouldn't put as much focus personally on like the extremely high fat, right? Yeah, I mean, you're burning through your calories that you eat on a daily basis regardless. So the difference between someone being fat adapted, I would say is once you're, like if you just perform better when you're in a calorie deficit, you don't feel like you're in a deficit as much. Because if you've ever done a high carb diet that's calorie restricted, you'll know you're just like low energy. You don't want to go to the gym. You don't want to do much. It's not like that when you're doing keto, it's easier to be in a deficit. Right. And so you also, when you're in a, on a keto diet, you also have a lot of the other benefits aside from just burning fat for fuel and having an easier time restricting. Here's another good point about that study. You need to take K2 with vitamin D. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just yeah. supplementing a lot of vitamin D maybe isn't oh, going to make a big difference. They didn't give them K2? No. Okay. So yeah, so this... This supplement has D3 and K2 in it. Uh, is there a clip of Mega on Dr. Oz on YouTube? I think there is. Yeah, someone said there is. If you search Keto Dr. Oz, it'll probably come up. I think Baker is very high protein intake. Maybe why his fasting glucose and A1C are high. You're talking Sean Baker. That and or glucose sparing. Yeah, it's definitely the high protein intake. He seems to be, my theory is like he's operating a lot on gluconeogenesis, right? Which to me doesn't seem like the best. Like I would love to just be in his body and see how he feels every day, you know? Yeah, that's true. But uh, yeah, I think that's probably why his fasting glucose is high. I can smell the brownies. I can't. How much longer do they got? Can you see 20 minutes still. <laughs> Seems the super high intermittent fasting video from Dr. Berg. Person stopped eating for over a year, but still took necessary vitamins and minerals. I wouldn't call that intermittent fasting at all. I would call that fasting. Yeah, 360 days or something, almost a year, over a year. Who? Someone fasted. Really? It was someone that had a lot of weight to lose, though. Hmm, good for that. What brand is the D D Tree K two? Um, it's Live Wise Naturals. Yeah, I don't really like stand by. I just picked one. I didn't really do a ton of research on it. Where did you buy the drops? Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> keto is great, except at work I have gained the title Keto D Bag. Haters. Haters don't hate. Um, well, are you being one though? That's also possible. That's true. Also, who's baking along with us? Who's making brownies? So a protein-rich diet can cause a high A1C? I don't know. I don't think, 
I mean, Sean Baker's kind of just a sample size of one, or maybe there's like a few other people doing what he's doing. There's more now, obviously, but the amount of people that have only been eating meat for extended periods of time is not many. So he's like kind of at the forefront of, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Can you address monk fruit and if it spikes insulin? It shouldn't. No. I don't think we tested it, right? Yeah, it's in the video. Is it? Yeah. The drops? Yeah. Or the the drops. Okay, yeah. Then it should be. It's fine. I um, would pay good money to see you two on the amazing race. That would be great. Oh my do you have to run? Yeah, I'd do the running though. I'd have to like, Only one person does the running? You have to run too. Okay, so I can't I I'm off. <laughs> Like, running is the last thing in the world I ever want to do. Um, I'll walk at a steady state on a treadmill. I will row. I'll even swim, but running I will not do. You'll swim? Yeah. I've never seen you swim, I don't think. Yeah, I probably, you guys probably don't think I'm a good swimmer. I probably don't look good at a lot of things. Well, I'm I'm really good at backstroke, actually. Like, surprisingly good. But yeah, do I look like a person who's like talented in many ways? I feel like I'm just so, like, average, like, land, like, oh, she doesn't do much. You're good at baking. Yeah, I'm good at, like, good at taking naps. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've been socially, yeah. I guess that's something to be proud of, right? Yes, yeah, it's a skill. I can handle a social situation like I think only people that aren't good socially re- realize what a skill it is. Like, some that's people, true. it just comes naturally, and they're like, this yeah. is the way it is. Everyone's like this, but really, most people aren't. Okay. Uh, making fiber muffins. Yeah, we need to make those again. Those are delicious. Mm, maybe next week. Yeah. I'm currently qualifying as a nutritionist, and I have to restrict almost all of my own thoughts regarding carbs if I want to pass my exams. It's a strange world. Not brownies, but the meatloaf from your cookbook someone's cooking along. Okay. Let's that, let's trade. Give me some meatloaf. I'll give you some brownies. Britty just donated $5 Canadian, I think. Is there benefits to fasting a full day a week? And can an infection cause water retention? I don't know about an infection huh. causing water retention. I would assume it's possible. I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, it's possible for sure. Um, especially if like there's inflammation or anything. Because um, water like goes around the area. Just like retaining water? Yeah. But uh, is there benefits to fasting a full day a week? Yeah, there seems to be a lot of proven benefits once you start fasting for like 24 plus hours, 36 plus hours, Mm -hmm. especially if you're doing like a dry fast, which is no water. We've never done that. No, I know we've talked about doing it. I just like what it would be tough for me, but I could do it, I guess. Maggie, you were so cute on Dr. Oz. Oh, thank you. My wave was on point. My dad was like, Oh, all you did was wave. I was like, yeah, dad, I'm, I'm doing something, right? Could you do a blueberry muffin recipe for a Sunday cook along? Oh, yeah, we have one. We could definitely do that. Maybe we'll do that next week instead. We'll see. One aspect of keto that doesn't get as much hype is the effect on stress management and mood. Mine has improved significantly since going keto. Hmm. I would say I am completely stress-free as well, but I don't know if that's attributed to like my lifestyle of not working at our office. You I've know? always been pretty stress-free. I'm not a good sample size for this, but I would love to see like my mom, who's very much a worrying person, try doing keto. I wonder if it would like help with that. I have a theory that Matt is so lean and stays so like just jacked all year long because he doesn't stress. So he doesn't have any like cortisol rise. He doesn't have the fight or flight instinct where like your body goes into overdrive and like... No, some days when you're really stressed out and I'm just trying to chill, you can work me up into a higher stress <laughs> level. And then it just like... He's fatter the next day. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But for me, I'm just like, how does he stay so lean? He's eating at a surplus, I feel like. And he's just like cutting weight. No, I'm, I'm on the high end of my weight range right now. But he still looks like a Greek god naked in his leggings. Mm. Football time. Peace. Aww. See you, Morpheus. Bye, Morpheus. Right, I'll be here for a little longer. Is there any last minute like people missing that I need to know about for fantasy? I guess it's already one. Made Major your butter food. chicken a few nights ago. So good. The butter chicken is delicious. We got to make that again. With our non low carb non, that would be a solid meal right there. Um, okay, my team's good to go. That would be good in law enforcement. No stress. 
I think it'd be decent in law enforcement. Someone thought he was a cop in our last apartment building. Remember? Ooh. Remember that guy who like came down? He was high. Strap the He's fool? like, you're not a cop, right? Was it strap? No, it was the guy with the dogs who lived across the street from us with the little chihuahua. Like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. We he said we looked really straight edge. One hundred percent of fat from red meat, good or bad? What does that mean? One hundred percent. All getting all of your fat from red oh, meat. Oh, I think it's good. I I've, I've done it before for extended periods of time. I like to get most of my fat from animal sources at least. It doesn't have to be from red meat, but like I wouldn't subsist on olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil. I would try getting at least a majority of your fats from animal sources. What blue cheese dressing doesn't have soybean or canola oil? Um, I don't know if I've seen any. I don't even know if Primal Kitchen has a blue cheese. They have ranch though, right? They have ranch. They have Caesar. Um, it's going to be hard to find one in stores. I've never seen one. I've checked. I love blue cheese. How long did it take to lose the gains you guys got from the cut you did? The gains. I, I never lost them. I well, maintained we, them. Gains as far as gaining muscle, we haven't lost. We've gained more muscle. But as far as like physique wise, those gains, um, I don't know. Like two months, three months. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's, we went to Hawaii. We went to Italy. We just like vacationed a lot. And like. So, yeah, I was, I mean, there was obviously a peak. So like, I was at my peak for like a day or two. So. But I look better now than I did like in the beginning of the year you know what i'm saying like i never reverted back did you you didn't either no so like what i'm really excited about we have january 1st 2018 pictures and then we're gonna have january 1st 2019 pictures and i think we're gonna do a video on that and like what a full year of like a cutting process but then like just maintaining and working out a lot and eating relatively like good all year round looks like and one year of weightlifting. weightlifting a realistic right. look at one year of weightlifting because most of these pictures you see like one year transformation some enhancement going on there so this will be like an actual realistic four days strict working out right we've done four per, days four days a, a week yeah yeah um and then also so like this year i'm gonna weigh more than i did at the start of last year but i'm more defined and just like look better same with year. me for sure i look good you know what i yeah look great are vegans nuts? I don't think what? they're nuts, oh. but uh, they definitely are like misplaced in their thinking. They're thinking like, you know, doing no harm. It's a lot of like virtue signaling, do no harm to animals, but you're actually doing harm to yourself. You got to prioritize a little bit, in my opinion. Is there a way to make um, gulab jamun keto friendly after watch, watch a video about making them after you mentioned them in a video from this morning, they look so good. I don't think there is, honestly. I, I'll have to look up exactly how to make them, but they're like the furthest from keto. But that would be awesome if I could recreate that. Maybe I should do that. Yeah. Look into Good that. Luck, yeah, German. Uh, how much have you donated to the poor? I don't know that I've ever donated to the poor. So my dad, growing up every single year during Christmas and Thanksgiving, we always donated like uh, 10 to 15 turkeys to families mm -hmm. and my brother still holds up that tradition because he took over the office and this year he's donating a bunch of turkeys and we've like donated a lot to goodwill right yeah. every year we'll donate um stuff but like i think it would be good to do the turkey thing i really like that idea yeah i donate to charities and stuff occasionally oh, he, but not to when what? he first started dating me he sponsored a little boy in india his yeah. name was um india and we would get pictures of him every single couple, every couple months, and he would write letters to us. It was so cute. And I was, I was wondering, like, was it actually him writing? You know, but he would like draw pictures, and it was cute. The the best nuts and nut butters for this way of eating. Um, the highest fat, lowest carb ones are going to be macadamia nut, pili nut, but pecans are good. Walnuts. I mean, you can really fit any nut into your macros. It can just get out of hand. Yeah. Because they're easy to just down, but cashews are probably the worst. Cashews and pistachios, those are the highest in carbs, right? Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm your neighbor, said Pokemon Editor. I don't think so. Unless it's the kid from yesterday. Could be. Because <laughs> we did have a neighborhood party last night, and it was fun. Yeah. The best vegan is a carnivore concert, LOL. Oh, convert. 
Do you listen to the Two Keto Dudes podcast? Not really. We were on it, or they featured our bread once. Remember how exciting that was? Yeah, when we first started our channel, they made our bread. That was like one of the first things where I was like, whoa, people are kind of noticing what we're doing over here. Yeah, it was cool. How do you decide how many extra carbs you can add in after a workout? Typically, I don't add any, but uh, it's something you can experiment with. Yeah, experiment with, see how you feel. Mainly just the best way to gauge it is how ready to go the next day you feel before the gym, because it should theoretically help you with recovery a little bit. Um, Susie Good Fat Bars, people are asking. No. What? Aren't those the ones that we were sent and they're not good? Did we get some in there? Yeah, the good fat bars. Are they bars? still in there? I think there's one in there. Let me see the ingredients on these. Um, yeah, those aren't good. They're not good? I don't think I've tried it. This is it, right? Good fats? Yeah. Uh, one sec. Okay. So it's a fats blend. Almond I butter, know. organic palm, coconut oil. Yeah, it has IMO in there. Yeah, Flavored we... coating, IMO. So that has IMO fiber. It looks like there's eight grams of fiber. So you probably, it's, it's slightly higher carb than they will label it as net carbs. I'd add like two or three to it, but it doesn't seem terrible. Do y'all do book signings? Any chance of, a, of doing a couple over here on the East Coast to do one or two? Preferably in Virginia. Um, we did two book signings last year with our book because we were traveling. So we did one in KetoCon area and then we did one in our hometown, Atlanta. Um, but I just, I don't know. I feel like it's a lot of, if we had like traveled and did book signings, it takes away a lot from our day to day, which is like also- It's not the best use of our time. Right. Um, so maybe with this next one, We'll do a couple more than just the two, but definitely one always in our hometown because we can. Um, and then we're doing actually a book signing in LA for Keto Made Easy during the Metabolic Health Summit. Oh, we are? Mm -hmm. Are the Adkins treats bad? Most of them are. Most of them are high in maltitol, but they do have some things that are new, like all the stuff that says new or it's like reformulated, those don't have maltitol. Those are actually really good ingredients too. So I would eat some of those. I think it's like Atkins Lift bars are good, but just check anything with Atkins for maltitol. It they're, either has a ton of it or it has none. They have those crisp wafers we looked at, remember? Mm -hmm. Those are good to go. It feels harder working out when I cut the carbs. So that might be, it's just going to take you some time to adapt and get used to using fat for fuel, or maybe that's just, you need a little bit of carbs to work out. So I would do what it takes to get good workouts in. Are the mission carb balance tortillas bad? I mean, it's what is good, what's bad, I guess. So is it helping you stick to your diet more so than without having it? Then it's probably good. Is it like a good thing to be eating? It's not know. the best source of, it doesn't have nutrients. It has it. no nutrition and it's like 12 grams of, or it's net carbs, right? It's like three net carbs or something. Yeah. It's pretty low. So it has no nutrition and it's a few net carbs. I think it has wheat, it has gluten. So it's up to you. Fit it in if you want. I noticed, uh, I eat low carb, but I noticed that when I eat high fat, about a half hour later, I feel sick, nauseous, vertigo. Do you know why that may be happening and what I can do? Um, it may just be like you're not tolerating the high fat well. Yeah. Some people do experience that. It takes some time for your body to adjust. Um, especially, do lower fat. Yeah, or if you go lower carb maybe even. Um, and do you can try bile salts. That helps digest fat a little bit better. But I would just slowly scale up the fat, not do too much at once. I think they're done. Okay. What does it say? Six minutes. I only put in for 45 trips, so there's 11 minutes. Okay. Do consider doing a keto mukbang. We have, but like, would that be really fun for you guys if we just said eight? I guess if we had like a topic. So I've watched um, one, Megan McCollum, she does conspiracy theories when she does a Ooh, mukbang. That would be fun, actually. That would be really fun. I would love that. So maybe we can do something like that, or we could talk about like a case, like a murder case. Mm -hmm. So if you would like oh, us to let's do, do one of those. mukbang. Okay with a murder mystery us just discussing it should that be live or should that be recorded and uploaded yeah what do you guys think i think live might be fun to get some interaction yeah it would just be hard to like answer any questions 
Because yeah. we'd be so focused on eating and talking about the murder mystery. Yeah, let's try doing that. That'll okay. be fun. Can I eat liver on keto? Yeah, of course. It just look at the carbs. Liver is actually something I've been eating a lot lately because it's very nutritious, high in vitamin A. I made your chewy chocolate chip cookies and added a couple tablespoons of peanut butter. That Whoa. sounds really good. Also, what are your thoughts on Halo brand ice cream? Um, I don't love it. Like, it's not my, there's a lot of better options out there with lower sugar. Um, and also there's like better in stores even. Yeah. So, so delicious. The no sugar added ones. Look for the, like the blue containers and there's enlightened in stores. Um, they're just like also denser and tastier in my opinion. Um, is there anything else there? Thank you. We appreciate you taking the time to answer all your questions and spending your time with us. This is fun for us. Oh, yeah. We still have to do an Aldi top 10 things to get at Aldi. We don't shop there a lot, so if there are things to get at Aldi, let us know. Yeah, we could do that this week. We live here one. Have you tried Dry Farm Wines? Thoughts? Yeah, we have. They're good. It's nice because you don't have to question how much sugar is in the wine because they test it all, but it's like 22 bucks per bottle. Yeah. It's more than I typically pay. Yeah. But yeah, it's good if you got the money. Do you have a keto tamale recipe? No. We thought you, you, you were going to work on one, but we never got around to it. I never hear you talk about ricotta cheese. Do you shy away or have any good recipes you could share? Yeah, it doesn't we come up. We have a lot of good recipes. We do. It doesn't come up in conversation too often, though. Our new cookbook yeah. has um, an eggplant lasagna, but we have just a normal. Uh, we have a zucchini lasagna on our site that's we have, really good. We have uh, manicotti. Manicotti with eggplant. That's also really good. Both of those are kind of cheese. You guys still go to that keto bakery? We haven't been back, but we're going to go at some point again. Some pages suggest total carbs only. They don't detect fiber at all. What are some your thoughts? Pages? Like Facebook pages? Uh, they're not going by science and the physiology of your body is what I would say. I think d- doing total carbs gives you less leeway. Yeah. Um, it gives you less leeway with like the packaged bars and stuff. Yeah. Or even like with veggies, which I don't think is a big deal to consume higher carbs when it comes to veggies. Um, like both of our, our side dishes that came out on Thursday, like the Brussels sprouts, that's 20 total carbs for half for like a serving. Yeah. So if you did that, then you wouldn't be able to eat just a serving of Brussels sprouts. Um, I mean, the reality of the situation is there is insoluble fiber, which passes through your body with no impact on insulin, uh, glucose, digestion, anything like that. There's soluble fiber, which about half of it is fermented into short chain fatty acids, which doesn't have any impact on your glucose either. So counting it into your daily carb intake doesn't make sense. Isn't backed by science. There's no reason to do it. Um, but the only reason to do it is to limit your, your carbs on the day even mm-hmm. further, mm-hmm. just to give yourself like more restriction. Do you drink protein shakes? No, we don't drink protein shakes, but we do use protein powder. If we're going to use it, it'll also be in like a smoothie where we're also using, um, some other source of fat, heavy cream, olive oil, something like that. So it's a good mix of protein and fats. Richard Slater donates a dollar. Thank you. Uh, uh, do I have to be fat adapted before I try your recipes? No, no, you don't have to. Is cottage cheese keto? Is I it? think it, it's high protein. I think it's, it's kind of low carb, right? Isn't it like a few grams of carb per, per cup? All I know about cottage cheese is one, it's gross. Two, I, I watched this video of this girl who just like, she like does pageants. This was a real long time ago. And she does a three week cottage cheese diet. And her before and after was amazing. She was like really not looking good before in her bikini. And then she was like, cut up three weeks of cottage cheese. When I used to do more bodybuilding style diets, I would do cottage cheese and protein powder all the time. I wish really I did good. that pre keto. I would have gotten shredded on cottage cheese. Is there one perfect mono food? <laughs> I think the closest you can get is going to be like red meat or eggs, one of those two. But if you're just like, if you are talking like a cow as a mono food, then yeah, you could eat, you know, organs and all that. Um, how often do you eat in a day? We do two good sized meals, 
two large meals and then we'll snack after dinner. Um, sometimes like tea in the morning. Can you lower your total carbs by taking fiber pills? No, because <laughs> no. every gram of fiber is also an additional carb. So you're just getting a net zero. You're not getting a net negative. And if that was the case, I would just get a pint of ice cream and then pour like psyllium husk fiber on it. Right? Yeah. And just eat that and then it'd be like, <laughs> and then no have carbs. the worst day ever yeah. <laughs> digestion wise. Uh, what, if any, nootropics are you currently taking? Not many. I've just been messing around with ashwagandha a little bit more, but I got the KSM 66 extract, so it's like a pure form. Then my favorite is definitely oxyracetam. I always forget that's there. No, it is, um, what's the new one? Andra, and Adrafinil? Adrafinil. That'll do it. I don't take that too often, though. It is, like, pretty stimulating. Yeah. Does it make more sense to target fat or protein on keto? Um, well, you definitely want to ooh, target fat or protein. You're going to want to target protein for sure. Yeah. Um, protein is more of a thing you should hit every day. Fat is more you, you can, can play, around. play around with. A lot of donations coming in here. $2 from Richard Slater. And I'm going to outlaw these these donations coming from Buckeye fans soon. I'm sending the money back. Why? Uh, he says, two Buckeyes. Woohoo. Enjoy the game. Thanks, Richard. You seem like a reasonable Ohio State fan. Probably just circumstances. You were born there, so you like them. So what should I do with them? Bring them over. Andy Hendrickson, $10 donation. Thank you. Tammy Hunt, how often do you eat fat bombs? I break my fast with a fat bomb. Can you say that's okay? Yeah. Um, I eat one every couple days after dinner. There they are. And then Jenny M donates $5. How do you break through a keto weight loss plateau? Increase protein, increase fat. There is no real like magic ratio to just break through a plateau. That's kind of why it's called a plateau. But I think just sticking to it, yeah. knowing that it's a long-term thing, because you, you said you've already lost 94 pounds. So that's obviously... Your body doesn't want to just keep going linearly downwards. As long as you're trending downwards over time, that's what matters. One sure way that I wouldn't like necessarily recommend, but you could if you're frustrated and you want to do it, people do egg fasts like three, four, five days to break through a stall. Not something I would do because it's not a long-term type of mindset, but it can like help because you're really just cutting everything out. You're eating eggs and fat, maybe some cheese or something. Um, so that could be worth a try if you want to. Those feel good. They do feel good. Should I pop them out and then like slice them? Yeah. They're right out of the oven though. They might crumble. No. It doesn't feel like it will. Bridget Zhao donates $2. Thank you. You should def definitely do a video on your tropics if you haven't done one already. Yeah, we've been wanting to do one. I'm losing a lot slower now than the last few months. What can I do to boost my weight loss or change it up? Your body doesn't want to do the same. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. I'm not good at this. It's really hot though. Yeah. Sorry guys. I can't even see. Okay, I'll bring the camera over. So your body doesn't want to like just constantly be losing weight. It's not a natural state. Um, so your body's kind of fighting against it. So if you've been having a lot of progress losing weight, um, then you should, uh, you know, be one, be proud of that. And two, just allow your body to naturally just lose weight. You say you're still losing slowly. Should I turn it over? Sure. Are these brownies from your book? Yeah, they're in the book, right? They are, but we use almond flour to just like, you know, experiment. You have to slow down weight loss at some point or you would eventually disappear. It's true. So, should I, how much should I slice them? We're doing mini know. fat bombs, right? Yeah, just do like get 12. No, 10, 10 8, should 8, I slice in the 8 middle to part? 12. They feel very jelly. Keto seems to use a lot of dairy. What can you use if someone has problem digesting dairy? You can just avoid it mostly. Like cheese is easy to avoid. You just don't make recipes with cheese. Instead of butter, if you need to avoid butter, you can use coconut oil. Um, for heavy cream, some people use coconut creams. Matt, do you ever play tennis? I would like to challenge you. No, but Mega played tennis in high school. I did. I'm actually going to go small. 
They're mini fat bombs. How many are you making? What is that? That's 9, 18. Thoughts on keto versus paleo? Um, they're just definitely very different eating styles. I think both you can um, have a lot of success with. And they, they're definitely good ways of eating. The only thing with paleo is like, you, it can get out of hand for sure because you can eat like limitless nuts. You can do like honey, you yeah. can do agave syrup. And it's like, then you're just getting a little risky because that's sugar and you can always easily overdo it. But paleo can just be with really healthy meat and veggies. Keto is more foolproof if you have, you know, issues with, with controlling your sweet intake. Yeah. But eventually like starting with keto and then moving to paleo is a good thing to do. Just like see which one you like better. This is all stuff you can figure out over time too. So should we try these and then I can watch football? Sure. Okay, here we go. Can you eat too much bacon? Of course. You eat too much I mean, bacon's a pretty low quality source of nutrition. So like if you're just eating bacon, that's like, you know, the sales pitch for keto. You eat as much bacon as you want, but really it's not great to only eat bacon. Or eat a lot of it. No, it's just give me half, that's fine. This is our first time making it with almond flour. I'm excited. Oh, you want to come up here, buddy? Come here. Did you put sweetener in? Yeah. Hmm. Not very sweet. How much sweetener did you put in? I put half a cup of rosemary oil. Half I think they taste better when they cool. I think they're really good. They're pretty good. I don't want them to be too sweet because then I can't not control myself. They'll be better in the freezer. Oh my God, they're going to be so good in the freezer. They're really good with almond flour. Um, I think I like them better with coconut flour. I think I like them better with coconut flour too. They taste more chocolatey, but still really good. Now we know. Come on. Um, what kind of, so... You guys see his, his sweater I got him? I don't love it, but Matt loves it. The original recipe called for two tablespoons of coconut flour and to sub in almond flour, we did eight tablespoons of almond flour. So you just quadrupled the amount of coconut flour for almond flour. Yeah. All right. Well, this was fun. Next week, what do we want to do? Do we want to tell them ahead of time? We need a high We're going to be home next week, right? Yeah, high five like muffins. Five or, muffins. Or blueberry muffins. Some kind of muffin. We'll do a muffin next week. So just bring your muffin game. You know, that's all. I'm ready for muffins. All right, guys. We love you. Have a beautiful Sunday and a great rest of your week. Mega does not have a nut allergy. She was misdiagnosed. Yes, I did. I don't have a nut allergy. Thank the love. That poor dog. I pulled out his sweater this morning. and He came sprinting over, wagging his tail. He loves this he thing. He loves his sweater. He loves putting on clothes. It also, like, you know, show them, show them how it, like, it hangs. It hangs. Yeah. So he can like go out in it, run around and pee and he won't get it on his sweater. He just wants to make us happy. He knows we like the sweater. So he comes running over and he's like, give me the sweater. It makes you guys happy. We got him another cute jacket, but it was too small. So Matt, we returned it. Well, the reason I had to get this is because we took him to daycare and they said he needs a sweater. Because he shivers when he's outside playing. So they can't keep him outside. They have to bring him in. And he just sits at the door and watches all the dogs play, which is so sad. I was under the impression dog were just, dogs were built for the elements. You know, they just had their fur. Yeah. They could last outside. But now, like, new, we have, like, new breeds, like, little breeds. And, yeah. I don't know. But anyway, we I love him. I how long he would survive in the wild. You just keep wanting to stay on. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. He wouldn't last long in the wild, though. Thanks for hanging. Bye-bye. See ya.